Is it harder to get a job as you get older? Yep. Is it harder to get a job as you have more experience? You betcha. This is like something that they do not teach us in school and we're shocked. So I want to break this down because we immediately go to the concept of age discrimination, which of course that exists, but I can't change your age and I can't change other people um, discriminating against for age. What I can do is empower you to change your tactics to work against this discrimination. So it starts with mindset. And what I want you to understand is we all pay what I call the wisdom tax as we get older. And that's because there's this expectation put on us as we get you know, older and wiser. So you're now expected to, you know, be extremely valuable, have a lot of knowledge, but then you're told you're overqualified, right? Uh, you're also supposed to be really self-aware of everyone about around you, especially people who are younger than you and where they're coming from and their points of view. So if you imagine going into an interview and the person that would be your manager is 20 years younger than you, they're looking at you and they're going to make some assumptions, the same assumption, assumptions that you're going to make about them. You're going to make assumptions about they're young. They're going to discriminate against you for your age. They're not going to want to hang out with an old person, you know, all this stuff, right? But they're on the other side of us going, oh my gosh, this person's going to come in. They're going to act like my parents. They're going to tell me what to do. They're going to act like a know-it-all. They're not going to be good with technology. They're not going to be able to change their mind. They're not going to be play nice with others. So both sides walk into these interviews with massive misassumptions. This is really, really bad, you know, so I can't change their, you know, assumptions of you, but I can help you change how you approach the interview process so you disrupt those assumptions, right? So things like being able to showcase that you're tech savvy, being self-aware in how you present yourself. Don't say that you're the jack or jill of all trades. Don't say that you can do absolutely everything that, you know, you think that's saying you're multifaceted, that saying overqualified, which is code for you're going to be difficult to work with because you think you know it all. These are the examples I'm talking about. Does this make sense? So it really is about as we get older, it's going to get tougher. It's going to get more competitive, but there are also things that we can do to disrupt the mindset on the other side in order to build that connection and get that job. And I know a lot of people are going to go in the comments and say, this is too much. Why does it have to be so hard? This is so frustrating. It shouldn't be this way. Again, I, I can't change that, but I can help you. And everyone that gives up isn't going to get what they want. But, you know, someone like this who I love for sharing this is saying, all right, help me figure it out, JT. So we're going to try to figure this out together. Um, great way to learn it is my behavioral interviews. This is going to teach you how to talk about interviews in the right way and answer those questions. It's going to come off just right. Not too much, not too little. So I hope you check out the series, but don't give up. Let's keep working on this together. I love you guys. Go get them.